Hey everybody, so time for another fun and exciting point of sale related video. What prompted me to do this one was that uh, there are a couple of things happening. One, obviously, a lot of folks are looking for what they're going to replace Microsoft Dynamics RMS with. Well, I have also been getting quite a few calls and making quite a few visits to paint stores, paint and glass stores. So I thought, well, I'll do one video that kind of covers a little bit of both. So what this is going to be, this is going to be a comparison of Retail Management Hero and Cloud Retailer as replacement point of sale programs for Microsoft Dynamics RMS. Do some costs and some comparisons looking at the actual programs, but I want to focus that this is not just for RMS users. This also applies to retailers searching for a point of sale system and especially those of you with paint stores or hardware stores or similar. So we'll dive right in. Quick outline, give you kind of the background on the purpose, which I think I kind of already covered. Uh, we'll look at the actual programs, some differences between multi-location, purchasing and receiving. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about the different merchant services options that refers to the integrated or third-party payment processing options that are available. We'll look at the supported operating systems. We will actually look at both programs as far as it comes to quotes and work orders. Talk about di data migration options and take a look at the licensing costs. And of course, I'll put my contact information on there. I'm going to try to go a little quicker than the usual videos because they seem to run a little bit long. So um, the reason, again, why we're here not just me getting calls and visiting paint stores, but Microsoft announced, you know, end of life for Dynamics RMS as a point of sale program. So it is in its extended support phase. So it's fully supported. No one needs to really panic or do anything. But there are things like credit card security and opening new stores that are prompting RMS users to look at other options and there's some great options on the market and they are direct replacement options so it's not like you're starting from scratch with a new point of sale system both in terms of investment cost and time and training and hardware and all that fun stuff so again i was getting multiple car calls from paint stores and i want to make sure that everyone knows this applies to retailers searching for a point of sale system as well we're going to focus on single location retailers or retailers with up to 50 locations. So multi-location is kind of one of our first differences. Presently, Retail Management Hero is single location only. There will be a multi-location uh, component module, whatever you like to call it, coming out over the next six to 12 months, it'll be called RMH Central. Basically, it's an updated version of Microsoft RMS HQ. Uh, same sort of functionality from my understanding, but we'll, we'll see when it comes out, what it looks like. Now, Cloud Retailer is already designed to be multi-location, so it is comfortable in an environment of up to 50 locations. And we'll just hop over to the manager part of Cloud Retailer. And we can see right here, I'm doing some purchasing. I've got my different locations. Uh, when I want to say run a report, we can uh, pick a report here. And have some options when it comes to locations. You can see Minneapolis, Boise, only got a couple locations here, but it's nice that program is really easy when it comes to multi locations. In fact, I'll show you one other thing that's really cool. Um, let's just pick my favorite bottled water here and we'll go to edit it. Edit it, it. Yeah, Paul Day, I'm not talking perfectly here. But basically, we can actually go down and say we need some variable pricing or things like that we can expand this and we can just pick the locations that we want to change pricing at which is anyone who's worked with multi-location point of sale knows how 
incredibly tedious it can be sometimes just to make a simple price change. So Cloud Retailer really has a handle on that when it comes to making life easy. All right, so definitely if you are multi-location and you're in the position where you can't wait for RMH Central, then we might want to be looking at Cloud Retailer. So we'll move on, difference number two, purchasing and receiving. So I'm going to just go ahead and hop over into the two programs. We'll start with Retail Management Hero. And I need to get to the manager part of the program. And if we go into purchasing, you can notice something that purchase orders can be created on some different things. We can do one manually, just enter it manually. We can also do it on restart, restock levels, reorder points. We can also based on sales. So there's some flexibility there when you're creating your purchase orders. Cloud Retailer is a little different. If we go into our purchase order screen, and this would be a new purchase order, we are basically doing things a little more manually. We're selecting our supplier, we're select selecting our location, and then we're adding the items. So I believe if I type in beer, we should get something. So. That part is a little different. Um, again, just depends on what's important to you, how you do your purchasing and receiving, things like that. So that's one difference number two. Difference number three, merchant services options. Now this is changing as time goes on, but presently as we sit, you know, uh, end of May, 2017, Retail Management Hero presently supports Cayenne or Merchants Warehouse, Vantive, Mercury, WorldPay, North American Bank Card, and Heartland. Support for TSIS and First Data will be coming later this summer. Cloud Retailer presently supports TSIS, First Data, and Heartland when using the integrated payment processing and payment terminals. I do want to give a shout out as far as the payment terminals. I've had a chance now to oh, work with them on about five or six installations. And I have to say they are the latest, greatest, and safest payment terminals out there. They're also updatable, which is pretty cool since we seem to be getting these new uh, mandates and security requirements coming out from related to the payment processing every, uh, I'd say about every two to three months, it seems like. So it's great that um, the initiative has been taken to put something in place that will meet or exceed present and future payment processing security requirements, <laughs> mandates, and whatever else they throw at us. All right. Difference number four, device options and connectivity. And connectivity probably wasn't the greatest choice of words, but I think you know what I mean. So Retail Management Hero, it's a Windows-based program. Database is stored on a computer at the store. Cloud Retailer, the point of sale side of Cloud Retailer is Windows-based, so it runs on Windows devices. The Manager, however, is browser-based. Um, and it is a cloud-based program in terms of data in the database, so no servers or anything like that. Although Retail Management Hero, you really don't need a server for a single store in most cases. I guess um, when you see the word Windows devices, I, I want to stress that includes tablets. I use a Surface Pro 4 uh, for both programs, actually, as well as for Microsoft RMS, and it works just great. So. I don't want folks to think when they see Windows device that it means clunky big computer because it doesn't. Unless you want one, then it does. All right, difference number five, quotes and work orders. So a lot of places, you know, especially in all these paint stores, they do some service work or maybe they need uh, to provide a, a school or someone with a quote to get approval for for paint or, you know, then they can get their, their check cut against the quote, uh, or they need to do on site work, you know, glass repair, things like that. So there's work orders involved. So if we go over to 
retail management hero, the point of sale. Um, what we'll see here is I'm going to quickly bring up a customer. And easiest if I just pick it myself. And we can add an item just for the fun of it. And my favorite bottle of water. Should get a cut for water, bottled water sales. So what we can do here is we have options to do quotes, work orders, and layaways. So we can turn this into a quote. We can then, of course, save it, print it, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. and then work orders. Very similar, except work order. Then it's going to prompt for a um, a deposit. So maybe it's something where you're doing a glass repair and you need to order parts. So that is one key difference. Uh, if that is important to you or a major aspect of your business, then having the ability to do the uh, the quotes and the work orders is probably important to you. All right, where did my presentation go? There we go. Yeah, PowerPoint. Okay, data migration options is our difference number six. And actually, there isn't much of a difference. So both programs support full data migration from Microsoft RMS. Uh, Retail Management Hero, it's going to pull in all the historical data. Cloud Retailer, you're going to get a couple of years worth of historical data. And to me, you know, the main point of historical data, this isn't something you want to use for your taxes or any of that stuff. The idea is maybe for product movement. Or you get the customer comes in that says, hey, I was here a year ago, I bought this thing, I really liked it, I want to get it again, but I can't remember what it was. You know, that's where if you've got one or two years of historical data, that usually covers those sort of uh, needs. All right. Difference number seven, costs. Now, folks, please, please, please be realistic. This is just licensing still need to factor in for labor, hardware, peripherals, paper, surge suppressors, whatever else needs to be replaced. So I'm just giving you the licensing costs and we're just doing a single user. So a single user cloud retailer is $500 up front if you're brand new. If you are a lapsed RMS customer, that is reduced to $250. If you are not a lapsed RMS customer, meaning that you've been staying current on your maintenance agreement, then the upfront cost is zero. That's a nice number. Your ongoing monthly for cloud retailer is 50 bucks for a single user. Uh, and that covers uh, basic support as well as updates. So uh, single user retail management hero, 1,405 is the upfront. However, if you are a lapsed RMS user that is reduced to 465. If you are not, or you are non-lapsed, meaning you are current on your software maintenance agreement with Microsoft, then the price goes down to 215, which is basically just you're you're paying for another year of maintenance up front, which will be prorated. Uh, I should add as well, and then your ongoing monthly. There is no ongoing monthly with Retail Management Hero, so. There you go. All right. So again, name is Kevin Antosh. There's my contact information. And as always, I do have the blog site, pointofsalepondering.com, which I do post retail point of sale related news information and advice. And you are welcome to contact me for anything discussed in this video or anything related to specialty retail. And I'm happy to help. Thanks.